tutorial will start first we start uh, a little quicker then lately on we will explain it step by step every so first we let add this monkey and divide the window like this add a new geometry node set up this is where we will add uh, these nodes so first we will add a, a transform geometry this geometry is actually like a mesh so when you duplicate them by shift d it looks like the two measure there but we cannot connect it directly to group output so we need a join geometry to make them appear in our viewport you can see so every transform geometry is independent from each other so you can control these as much as you like let's start with it again then join here be, be careful when you join these nodes the points where you join like the it's not supposed to be here it's supposed to be here yes so be very careful with this let's add a, a convex hull which will wrap these heads you can see every transform geometry acts like a mesh so this convex hull is like a it acts like a wrap it wraps all these meshes so what you're going to do we are going to transform this this convex hull to curves these curves will create wires wires like this which will then convert them to mesh to form a wired a wired mesh structure but it's not a pair so let's add a curve cycle to give depth to these wires let's reduce radius a little We can take these down and then connect uh, these meshes together. We need both of them to appear together. So by that we we'll get this join geometry, connect this first, first mesh and then these head meshes. So by joining they appear together. Then here we will need to add some points, points on these wires to create this effect. So to add it this, this effects, just add a type instance on points. So you can just press F3, then type what you want, the node you want, right? You can see here uh, nothing happened until we add the instances the instance we want to be on those points so we need to add a UV sphere this UV sphere will, will stay on those points of those of that convex arm so reduce the radius a little to the point that you will see the look clear So this is what it does, it's, it's, it's just adding these UV spheres to the vertex, vertexes of this convex arm. 
let's test what it's doing say it's look clear then let's subdivide this convex half let's put this here this will add some more points because the convex half will be will have more more vertices for the points to stay on so it just depends on where you place the other node So by creating this wires to get more vertices on it. You can see this subdivision surface is not normal, like what we use normally use in layout. It adds, it adds uh, uh, some geometry, some vertexes, the mesh, it's the same thing, what is going on here. You can see the, the great thing of these geometry nodes is that can do things without without destroying what is done at first place. See, the effects takes place with the update. it's going in how they relate on each other uh, so it took the matter of you to take a time and and understand what what not come first and what not come later see you can make great things with these nodes This is just a showcase I show you how these not these nodes relate on each other. Let's undo and continue with our tutorial. Somehow you can see how these nodes affect each other, right? So this can give you a solid understanding of how these few nodes work and how you can manipulate them easily. And you can you can just put any instance of your need. You can put even a flower, even a person, anything. As long as it's a mesh, you can put at an instance. Like here I put cubes, see? The small little cubes. So we can organize these these nodes by putting frame, by creating a frame, by framing them and rename them. So we, we can easily track our nodes, what this node do and what the, what the other do because some, some points you can find that you have so many nodes that you can't even understand yourself where you're coming from. So to connect them easily, put them in frame then rename them. This will give you a much better workflow if you are not. Select them, right click, then join in frame. Right click, and then that level, you can write anything.
let's consider this this for frame wireframe look what it really do so let's add another cube then create a new node setup for the cube alone you can see when when i enter a mesh to mesh to curve not let's not connect first let's go into wireframe then see how this cube is built with its edges you can see how edges they are right so this mesh to curve is going to transform those edges into meshes mesh to curve then curve to mesh add another uh, cycle curve to reveal those those meshes converted converted curves to meshes just the radius here did that's right so it depends on how how those how those edges form the mesh the way they form the mesh the way they will look it the way they will look when you connect this mesh to curve then curve the mesh by connecting the curve side you can see here right so even for that convex hull its wireframe is shown like that depending on how how its edges are formed are forming it you can see so till now it's like we already have uh, this mesh so let's add some materials you can add a plane put a color on it like every video other tutorial we talk about how to add these these materials to geometry node so you need a, an extra extra mesh then apply material to it then delete it because materials will be already set So if you want to add in some materials to certain prints, you need to consider where where are the nodes responsible for that node, for that mesh, or for that appearance I can say. Like we need to add a bluish color to these wires. Uh, uh, we need to add a bluish color to these cycles. So we need to add to send materials to instances because because these UV stairs are the instances so for material we said that instance if that material that instance for these meshes too we can do the same thing but I use this add-on for the real time material you can download it you can get it in vendor market place. And the material you do the same thing. And that the materials. You can add a ground plane. You can set up the camera. The same materials. This it just setting the same. You can add some lights. You can render the lights so up to here it just it just your preference to add which material to add what light to focus where like here I use an empty as a focus point of my camera use the background scene background uh, color I put it black I can adjust the textures of this monkey head so it's just a matter of your preference you can change the colors and do anything you 
can change even the materials you can see how it, it looks right so let's say you can look at all nodes you can see this is it our nodes set up from the beginning to the end and you can see these you can see these frames make these nodes much easier to read.